Well, it is almost every American's dream to win the lottery. I know it is mine, but here's a question for you. What would you do if you did win the money? Well, in 2007, our next guest did win the lottery, $112 million in the Mega Millions Lotto. And since then, she has become one of California's greatest philanthropists. Please welcome to the show, Cynthia Stafford. Hey, Cynthia, good morning to you. Good morning. All right, I know why you have a big smile on your face this morning. That is amazing. You know, that's a lot of money, and you, you split the $112 million with your dad, with your brother. Yes, I did. All right. And, 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 and what was that like? I mean, it must have been just a great day for you all, and, and, and just tell me the feeling, because I don't know that I'll ever know it. So <laughs> tell me that feeling. It was, it was an amazing feeling, and it was one of pure excitement and enjoyment, and we were just thrilled, totally thrilled. One of the things that I found interesting about you is you say you actually invoked your lottery win, meaning you yes. willed yourself to win the lottery. Yes. Can you tell me that secret? <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> well, it's interesting. Um, it's something that I think most people do. It's just they're not aware of it. And what I did was I visualized it. And I um, wrote the number down. And I think that's really important to write your goals down. So I said, well, I'm going to set this as a goal for myself. So the numbers that won were numbers that you played. It wasn't the quick pick or anything like that. These were actual numbers that you played. What I wrote down was 112 million, and that was <gasps> it. I just wrote it on a sheet of paper, 112 million. And I put the paper on uh, my wall and would look at the paper all the time and just knew that if I kept seeing it, believing it, it will happen. And, and, and I know for you, things were very tough before your lottery win because you actually adopted and raised your brother's kids after he passed away in 1999. Tell me about that. Uh, he was hit by a car, an uh, underage driver, and um, he had five kids that uh, were in the system. And I was working as a computer exec at the time, and I knew that I did not want them being raised by other people. So. I set about the task of getting them, and my dad also helped me to raise them along with my brother. So that's why when the lottery, when I, I call it the, the gift came through, mm -hmm. we split it because it was part of all of our efforts. Now, obviously, when you took on that responsibility, you also took on a lot of the financial challenges yes. uh, that come with that. So that had to be tough for you. Was that part of the reason that you said, I'm going to write this $112 million down and I am going to win this lottery to help my family? I mean, was that part of the push? Definitely. It Definitely was. part of the push, mm -hmm. yes. I am a, I'm a believer that whatever it is we want in life, uh, and I wanted to have more. And I wanted to show the children that you can have more. You can have whatever it is that you believe in. And so I set about the task of believe invoking it. it. <laughs> Yes. You know, the thing that I like about you is that you really, you know, did a lot of giving yes. before you even won the lottery. And you and I talked off camera about just how important that is, even when you have little to give, because you do, you have to give in order to receive. And I think That's that true. message is one that is lost on a lot of people. But obviously, now that you won $112 million, you've kind of stepped up the giving a little bit. Oh, yeah. uh, tell me some of the organizations that you donate to and why it's so important for you, Cynthia, to give. Well, UNICEF has been an organization I've given to since I was a child. Mm. Uh, I would give uh, parts of my allowance to UNICEF, which is interesting. I still do. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, uh, a do I donate to also God's Love We Deliver, which is an organization in New York that um, helps those who cannot get out, who have, are afflicted with AIDS or other illnesses, and it um, delivers food to these individuals. I also um, am involved with Kids in the Spotlight, which is a wonderful organization which teaches children who are um, challenged to be creative, yeah. and it teaches them about the arts. Mm. Um, Oh my gosh, I'm sure the list goes on. And the Geffen also, and the and arts and, and education. And is there also a Playhouse as well? That you yeah, the Geffen Playhouse, mm. which I'm a board member. We have an education and outreach program, and I'm one of the uh, main contributors to that program. All right, so in addition to all of that, I understand that you have also opened an entertainment company as well. Yes. Tell me about that. My entertainment company is named 
Queen Nepertari Productions, and it is a production company along with a film fund. And we are um, producing several films at the moment, and uh, one right now, which is uh, on the festival circuit, The Inheritance, actually two, mm -hmm. The Inheritance in Polish Bar. And we also have a film that is in development with Kevin Connolly, who is, uh, he's a star on the series Entourage. Yes, Kevin Connolly, yes, yeah. absolutely, sure. Yeah. Okay. And the, that film is The, the Adrenaline, okay. uh, or The Adrenalist, I believe is the name of it. Okay. And that right now is in development, and we have uh, several others. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are just a busy lady. What is next for you? Oh, wow. Um, I'm looking, well, I have a foundation that I've started myself, and my foundation is to assist those who are um, in the foster care system to um, help them to, tra to transition out and to uh, involve them with the arts. And also to do more, um, I also have invested in a cancer drug, um, and this drug is to basically get rid of um, well, to help eliminate cancer, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm I'm always looking for cutting edge things and and to help society and better the world. Well, look at you. You are doing uh, just that, and it couldn't have happened to a, a, a more wonderful and more giving person. So congratulations to you on all your success. Thank you. Appreciate mm -hmm. that. And if you ever need a newscaster in the movie, you know, just, you know, look me up. <laughs> I definitely will. <laughs> just joking with you. For more, for, not really. For more information on Cynthia Stafford, you can visit the website visualizewithcynthia.com. Lovely lady. Absolutely. That was good. Did you want to do